Gagadala, who don't you want to know <laughs> <laughs> the real names of Jakim? <laughs> Let me hope you're having fun at home. Just throw away the remote and then you're going to exhaust a Jakim or Mani as a Riwa, why a Samira Wa, a Masamero Chiga, Chinese, the Mikono Jebani. Would you want to be Jakim's friend? Just please stay tuned, family TV. You're welcome, Jakim, in studio. Thank you very much. Great, your people out there. Kuba mm Ngalu Denga Tewa Kulaba. Yeah, and then tell them where are you coming from. Hey, how did you come here? Yeah. Stuff like that. You can look through your camera. Thank you very much. Mm. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning, viewers. I'm called Jakim. That's my stage name. Mm. Um, my other names are Mutisha Bruno. Mm. And uh, I'm a Ugandan. I'm a gospel artist. I am born again. I love God. Mm -hmm. I fellowship with Fanero Ministries International. And I'm fathered by Apostle Grace Lubega. And uh, I'm, an, an, I'm an artist with the House of D Rain. Yeah. And um, I think maybe wow. that's a summary <laughs> of it. Yeah. How, is, how is Fanero? Fanero, we are good. Mm. Uh, God is doing us so well. Uh, we're increasing every day. Mm. God is so faithful. Uh, God is so faithful. Mm. Uh, we're seeing so much, so many things that God is doing beyond even our country, but even in our personal lives. We're seeing God being so, so good to us. Really. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, did you hear the president's guideline? Only more, not more than 200 people should attend church. And you people are over like thousands, thousands of people. How, is that, how, did, how did you feel when you had that? Of course, um, our hope has never been in the government. Mm. It has never been. Even when you understand our fathers, the, the Abrahams, and who, we've never had any hope in what the government does. Mm. But we thank God that um, at least there's been some gleam of, glimpse of light for certain people. Mm. The 200 number is okay and all of that. I mean, like, for example, very soon we're having a women's conference. It, mm. it, it's like more than 100 times that figure yeah. that we want to have, more than 20,000 or 40,000 people. Mm. So to us, uh, an announcement of 200 people is, is okay, but still we believe that, um, I mean, what has driven us even before, throughout the lockdown is that we've understood that the gospel of God cannot be bound in chains in any way. You can't mm -hmm. stop the gospel from being preached. Yeah. So we are going, we're still continuing online, I think. I believe uh, some of those announcements will come through officially, but as Fanero, I think uh, 200 is still... It's not making... It's, it's, it's not something for us to jubilate in mm -hmm. a way, but also, but we thank God for the general body of Christ, that at least something has come up. Mm -hmm. Some other people are going to start meeting. It's important for maybe smaller fellowships and other community churches and homes and all of those kind of meetings, I think. So are you going to still be meeting uh, online or are you going to congregate? Of course it's online for now, I mm. think. That's my thinking for now. Wow. Uh, so people would want to know who is Jakim? Who is Jakim? <laughs> Your marital status? What have you been up to all this while? Uh, yeah. Um, Jakim, I'm a physicist mm. and um, that's what maybe I studied, but I've also had the opportunity to to be to teach. Uh, and it has been part of my career before. I taught physics and mathematics. Um, I've also done some farming. Mm. Um, I think I've done a lot of things. If I'm but you don't to look to be a farmer. I think it's the grace of God. It's just the grace of God. I think it's just the grace of God. Hey, yeah. Because, uh, you know, I don't know. I think it's uh, uh, your marital status. Are you married? Are I'm, you single? Are you still searching? You know, there are people who are saying, hey, single and contented. Are you that kind? I'm waiting on God. Hey, I'm hallelujah. I'm waiting on God. Amen. Yes, thank you. <laughs> what have you been up to all this while? I think we've, um, for the past four years, I've been in the house of Deirin. Mm. We've been working on different projects, and um, maybe I could mention this. And um, one of the uniqueness about House of D Rain is that we're not just after nurturing talent, mm. but we are about uh, forming a minister of the gospel. Because House of D Rain is a is a, is, is a Christian, can I say, organization or body or something that or worship house. Let me mm. say that that. Our focus is to see that the message of Jesus Christ reaches as many people as possible mm. and not be misrepresented in any way, whether through the very message that is being preached yeah. or through the very uh, ambassadors of the message itself. So uh, we believe in building the person through mm. character, but also building the talent, you know, with, with working on the vocals and so many things related to that. 
Um, so we've been working together for about four years now. I've done a number of songs. Uh, maybe the song you, you, you might have to show later on, the You're Not Alone song. It, was a, it's not, it wasn't our first project in production, but mm. it was the first project that we released because of how dear and special it is to us. But um, yeah, I've been working a lot in studio uh, and of course doing other things, you know. Give uh, us shooting, a cappella. <laughs> shooting videos and all of that. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Give us a cappella, not alone. Oh, you're not alone? Mm. Okay, okay. Um, okay. In your mother's womb, I knew you. Stuck in your DNA like a tattoo. Always around you and in you. Walk with you always, never leave you. Many voices play through your mind. Send fast forward on everyone when it's mine. More than ever, you endeavor to stay connected whenever the weather make a fever up or up beside you. I know you're kind and know it's inside of you. But most of all, I mean inside of you too. Truth, what a promise will come through. Every thought of mine is only just about you. Under my wings, we could ride forever. What away your tears, you got me to get there. You and me, me and you, together, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got this, family. We got TV. it. Yeah, yeah, we got it indeed. We got it. Are we are with Zakim in studio. You in a rap for Gabon. Praise God. That is rap Praise for you. Why, ra God. why rap music? Because um, most people have this mentality like rap music is not fun. Yeah, it's not gospel. Why rap music? Why did you decide to go and rap? I think it wasn't my choice. I think yeah. um, two things. One, go, I felt God uh, wanted me to do that. Mm. I'm also passionate about you know the R and B and all of that. But yeah. I think God chose that for me. And I also, when I met D Rain and Apostle Grace, they recommended that for me. You mm. know, because um, with the kind of way I felt, I needed to express what was within me. Mm. Uh, I think I was guided that that could be the best way we could do it. And it's, it's working out so well. Mm. Uh, many people have a misconception to think that rap music is for, um, you know, it, it's, it's supposed to communicate a certain message and mm. all kind of things, you know, maybe related to drugs and, 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 and certain forms of culture. Yeah. But no, these are all gifts of God, you know, whether it's rap, whether it's the, using the other way, using your vocals another way. I think it's all just a gift of God and the way you use it to mm. us it's about communicating the love of God communicating the grace of God communicating the goodness of God to people mm. so I thought that well, this is something good to me and and I love it mm. I love it because one you can say so much in a small you know in yeah. a short space of yeah. time and, and 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 still you can have a conversation like this song to me it, it meant a lot it meant a lot what's um, the story behind it um you're not alone to me is um it's it's an embodiment of 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 uh, a collection i could say of so many conversations i've had with god mm. or things he has spoken to me intimately about and these are like assurances there's no line in that song whether you point a line like this i could almost point to you a particular day he told me those things mm. personally so it, it's so it's so it's, it's such a good song to me i love it it speaks so much to my heart uh, there are many times way back you know when things seem to be so hard things seem to be so tough things never seem to you know that seem that they never seem to be even light in certain moments yeah but god would come through and speaks to you a certain way and mm. you feel oh my god you know personally i feel in my heart that i'm the most loved person in this world by god wow I feel it that way. Mm. And in expressing it through this song, I felt that that was maybe the best way I could as well share some of the things that I've had him speak to me about. Maybe some other person in the, in the very song that is being sung, you know, they could hear God for themselves as well. Mm. Yeah, that's, well, that's Were you going through something and then like, you're like, let me write this song? Um, okay, uh, writing to us is not like, you j it's sometimes it happens at a go. Sometimes mm. it's after pro it's through a protracted period of time. But this particular song, I remember, we wrote it, and I felt it. I think it's by the leading of the spirit. Yeah. Because when you look at its message and how COVID came through to us, we wrote it. I think towards when when COVID was just about to come through in I think March, uh, March, of 2020. 
Mm. That's when we were writing it in studio. I remember Darian calling me early morning, sometimes at 6 a.m., come, let's go, 5 a.m., come, let's go, let's go. And every day you find this something. We pray together and you find something comes up, something comes up, something comes up. And we built it from that kind of environment. Mm, wow. And, 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 and it's, it ministers to us, really. It's so dear to us. Mm. Yeah. Tell us about your childhood memories. What do you remember? <laughs> were you naughty? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I want to have our no. The more we say, come back to the cave, we say, "Buka." I thank God that um, I'm born again. Mm. Um, I always feel if I wasn't born again at the time I got saved, I don't think I would have lived for another two years. Really? Or one year? Yes. I don't think so. I don't Why think is that? So. Um, the level of madness that was increasing was it was too much. I think mm. I had so many issues when I was growing up. I was I don't know, there's something in me. I wanted something. I wanted something in my life, but mm. I just felt there's nothing that could satisfy it. I remember in my senior one, I went to Katikamu SDA. Mm. One year, I grew up from a home that loves God, and my parents were really good disciplinarians. Were they born again? Um, they were Catholic. But um, it, 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 to me, it never mattered. It's, you know, it was just about religion and all of that, but I, I just felt in my heart I always needed something more. So I remember it comes in senior one, and mm. I'm, I'm, I'm in there at, in Katikamu, SDA, and suddenly I find myself with drugs, you know. Mm. We used to go into the bush somewhere, and, mm. if, and, I, and I was like, at the end of that year, I was like, Mom, you know what? You need to change the school. Mm. Then we change the school, we go to another school, and... I find myself into so many other different vices. And I realized actually it wasn't the change of location that I needed. Yeah. I needed a change of heart. So the whole thing continued. And when I was going, by the time I finished my O level, I was expelled from school mm. with some other suspensions along and so many other things really. But there was something in me that I was seeking for. And so when I changed school in A level, I thought probably something is going to change. Mm. And later on, when I go to the university, the madness just amplifies. So in O level and in A level, drugs, what, the naughtiness, yeah, the yeah, madness. Yeah. But um, I remember how I was so obdurate to some teachers and, and all of that and being crazy to them and, and speaking to some of them in the most disrespectful way. But there was always something in me I wanted to see, but I couldn't see it. Mm. There's always something I was seeking for until I think when I go to the university and God... I met God mm -hmm. face to face, and how I pray everyone could have that. To mm -hmm. just meet God for yourself, one on one. Nothing else in this world will ever matter. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can't get off, whether it's drugs, whether it's uh, whatever, whether it's are sexual vices, whether there are any kind of weaknesses in your life. Mm -hmm. When you have a certain connection with your God, when you meet God a certain way, that it's just need one encounter with God, mm -hmm. and all your life will change, I can assure you. One word from God is mm. enough. One and and, is and enough. like what was telling you like there is something that was missing in your heart. What drove you to think that there is something that was really missing? Um I think I, I found myself restless mm. in many places. Whichever place I got to, I, I wasn't settled. I was always restless. I was up and down. <laughs> was it peer pressure? <laughs> no. Mm. I'm not the kind that is moved by peer pressure. Like starting drugs, you, you started it yourself and you're like, let me resort yeah, to I, drugs. I, I, I think there's peer pressure, but also other... Peer pressure wasn't really so much into it, but I think there's also, there also a lot of influences in, in, in forms of uh, other things, maybe... Uh, hip hop. I think I, I fell in love with hip hop earlier on, mm. so I was exposed to so many that kind of lifestyle and things like that. But in a way, I felt like I was trying to interpret the desire in me that that desire could be fulfilled by those things. Mm. So I tried to adapt to some of those cultures. I remember I loved guys like DMX. I don't know if you know DMX. You know. Uh, okay. Maybe this I don't is. know the songs. <laughs> <laughs> quite a number of guys. <laughs> maybe but, um, I don't know. I don't know him personally, but maybe face to face. When I hear the songs, maybe I can know. Those were there were some icons, people like Tupac, Shaku, mm. um, Jay Z. You'd hear about them, you'd love them, and but in a way, your life started being influenced a certain way through that through adapting to that culture. Hey. So later on, I think when I got to know God, 
I discovered that what I was looking for, I'd found. And how did you come to know you? How did I come to know God? Yes, and then get out of the drugs, and then you're like, let me become this normal person and get out of the the drugs, and then get out of this ugly person that I am in, and then I become the new Jackie. Um, maybe I'll just go to scripture. Hmm. Jesus made a, made a couple of statements when you study in John 14. He was talking about the Holy Spirit. Mm. One thing that most people miss, even when they get saved, some of them, mm. they are not introduced to this person they have got to, they have, they have, they have met. Even when they get saved. Even when they get saved. So some people get saved, but they don't know the Holy Spirit. Earlier on I was hearing you having a conversation about parents and, and children and mm. all of that, and, and in my heart I was like, if you know, for, for example, Jesus said, I have not left you as orphans. Mm. Once you, I mean, when you know that, that you're not an orphan, whether your, da your daddy, your biological dad is gone, or your mom. Whether you're double I orphan, mean, like I mean, whatever, said. I mean, but <laughs> there's something that fills that place, and you can't even feel anything. Mm. You can't feel anything. You just feel love. Like I've told you, I feel I'm the most loved person by God in this world. So when you have that experience, when you get to know the Holy Spirit intimately, and it's not hard as a person. Mm. I remember when I got saved, one of the things, I just thank God that I, I just got to know him. You know, I was introduced to him, I started getting in touch with certain men of God, you know, mm. quickly, that, that started to show me who this guy is. So in getting to know the Holy Spirit, you know, you, you find to know, like, okay, what does he like? Who is he? And he starts to lead you. Mm. And it's not hard. It's not hard. Many people think Christianity is hard. It's only hard when you're working out your, when you're working it out yourself. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, um, when what inspired you from the university? There and then you went in House of Rain. How did you start your music career from from being a physician to a gospel artist? Or are you still do multitasking? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I've loved music ever since I was a child. Mm. I, one of the most vivid memories I have. There are quite a number, but one of them is I grew up from the barracks. And as that kid that makes noise at night when I was going back home mm -hmm. every day, you mm. know, if I'd find myself, mm. you know, uh, having my vocals out there all the time. I didn't know why, mm. but I just felt I had a certain attachment to music. I love to, to, to sing. I love to, to get to know songs. I love to get to know the latest songs and, and, and who's the best artist. That, that was the th those were the things that were always in my heart mm. and I think even when I got to the university I had a, I had a dream I it was childish I think I thought I, I could do an album I needed to do an album like in my first semester mm? I just had that you know that hey. feel you know but uh, when I met God I think I met God just a couple of weeks into my university years mm. and um, when I met him he, he, he promised me many things and some of the things when you hear them in the screen in the song you really see that actually he spoke certain things to me. So he promises, he speaks. God, God, let me tell you something. God's word can never fall to the ground. Mm. Our part is just to believe him. Leave alone the texts people see in the Bible. Mm. But when God starts speaking to your heart a certain way, believe him. Believe God. And how do you know that he's speaking to my heart? Um, it's simple. It's very simple. The mm. Bible says that uh, we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. One of the things that, that makes all that is a great hindrance to many children of God, mm. the Bible says, Jesus made a statement, I believe it's in John uh, um, chapter 10, um, 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 verse, should be around the 30s probably, mm. but it mentions and says that my, my I think this verse 10 also, this is my sheep hear my voice. Mm. Are you God's sheep? You hear his voice. So when God says you hear my voice, why do you say, God, I don't hear you? Mm. So when he, he started, the Holy Spirit started to teach me that, come on, believe me, when I say you hear me, yes, you hear me. It's like, okay, yeah, I hear you. When I started to believe that, then my hearing was amplified. You know? mm. It's like God's voice getting into his loudspeaker for you to start even hearing more. So once you believe even the smallest things and you start to believe them in your heart, that voice amplifies to you a certain way. So the more I've grown, I've started to realize that actually God is faithful and his mm. voice is so, he's, he's the loudest in this room, for example. 
I feel he speaks to me more than you're speaking to me. As you're speaking, I feel he's speaking. Wow. As you're asking a question, he tells me like, um, this is what she's asking, or mm. this is what someone else is asking out there. And as yeah. I'm speaking, I feel, I know in my heart. You're speaking sudden, to someone. Uh, yes, I know that people are being answered. Mm. I believe so, I know it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, there are many youth right now who are, who are in charge. Hmm? Yes, yes. Who are in charge. But they are still struggling with pornography. Uh, the other time we hosted uh, a, a, an artist. Yes. With, I, I think you know him. He's called mm. Lyrical Michael. Yes. And then he talked about he was in church but was still struggling with pornography. He was still struggling with... Uh, there are people who are still struggling right now with sex addic addictions. They are mm. still struggling with drugs. And they are still struggling with a lot, a lot of things. Stress, depression. But they are in church. Yes. And then he talked about something like uh, pastors, uh, instead of um, instead of looking out for the people they have in the church, t telling them the gospel, telling them the gospel truth, telling them what they have to know, telling them about everything about Christ, they are spending their time looking for other people, like to mm. widen the congregation. What? Mm. What do you What do you have to say about that? Okay, firstly about the pastors. Hmm. May I can say this, you have one life to live, mm. one life to live, and who you follow matters, determines your life. Mm. It either destroys you or it makes you. Yeah. And one of the things I did in my life, and I thank God that God made that understanding available to mm. me, is that he always told me, or I always asked him who to follow and who to be around me. Do you know many people, even when they are born, actually the cause of, actually some of most of these things is this. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thine mouth mm. the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. It says if you believe in your heart, you see, if you believe in your, in heart, your heart that he died and rose again from the dead, and you will confess from thine mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life, Many people have not understood the lordship of Jesus Christ on their life. Mm. When, you, when you submit yourself to him firstly, I'm telling you this, you can't submit yourself to Jesus Christ and you, still, and you struggle. Mm. I'm not saying that it will, that issue will live instantaneously, but even if it's maybe going gradually, you will still have a certain assurance and a peace to know that God has set you free. Mm. Personally, I had also some issues. As when I got born again, it took some time to go, but it never hindered my relationship with him at all because I knew him. You know, for example, I, the first one of the things I did first is like, God, you know what? Choose my friends for me. And mm. I, I, I stopped choosing them for myself. But you find the others, you find some of us, we, 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 we still want to hold on to our Lord. We want to be the Lord, we want to be in charge of our lives, mm. and yet we want him to save us. So you find that we are working against his strength. We are working contrary to his ability. Mm. But when you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, say, God, I'm here. God, I need you. Help me. You know, my friends, my day. You know, how do you pray, for example? You know, sometimes yeah. you wake up in the morning and say, God, do this, God, do this, God, do this. You find, like, you're in charge of your prayer. But what if God, for example, be in charge of what you're praying? Mm. And these are certain things, for example, praying in tongues. It's a good thing. Because somehow the Spirit of God prays through you. Mm. And you'll find certain things leave you. I know some people don't appreciate that, but it's true. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. Mm. So I encourage someone, if you're there, you have help. You have help. God loves you and is available to help you. You know, just say, it says that you're saved by grace through faith. Believe him. Believe him. Believe that God can help you. Believe that that issue, he's going to take it out. Or even he has taken it out already. Just be, f be free. There's, don't struggle with it. Yes. Don't struggle. Let it go. Let God take it over. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Do you have any Luganda song, Jakim? Luganda, Luganda, Luganda. Yeah. If I could look through. I think we shall make one. Hey, let's we make shall, one. We shall make one. <laughs> <laughs> like, God. even the corabos that you've gotten, to, there's nothing like Luganda. Um... Me singing Luganda, I think, um, I'm not sure about my accent mm. in Luganda. 
and I want I feel like if I'm going to do something I need to do it right yeah so um, perhaps later as, as the Lord will lead me really mm. as the you Lord only have me. English for now I can say God has led me there for now mm. maybe later on if he leads me otherwise we'll, we'll still be there another song <laughs> any 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 song any song um, uh, very soon uh, I believe maybe um, maybe in October or November Mm. We might release some other songs. Maybe there's one called Tulo. Tulo. Yes. Give us a cappella. <laughs> <laughs> Please, give, give of us a cappella. that song? Yeah, of that song. Um, it's a chorus. The chorus is in Luganda, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've caught you. Uh, okay, let me give you the cappella. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll do for a particular verse, one of mm. my favorite verses in there. <clears throat> Um, your love better than vintage wine can express the joy I found trapped like fire within my bones your name is like honey on my lips sing your song the moment that I wake up in your love no spot no wrinkle God gave his love for me he's the one that I live for I live for mm. that's it wow that's it. <laughs> have you uh, have you ever received any criticism from people about rap music when you're starting yeah, I do. Mm. I've heard some people speak, but um, it's okay. It's fine to be criticized. It's okay. Mm. Yeah. What do you tell people outside there? Uh, mm. The people who have been criticized in in their businesses, in in life, in when starting even their career, even from their parents, and then they take it personal. Yeah, mm -hmm. they take it personal. I like what you said. It is okay. Mm -hmm. It is okay. Mm -hmm. And for them, for their issue, they're like it's not okay. If someone has told me it. If them, someone has told me this business is not, is not going to work out, this career is not going to work out, and they shatter. They shatter like... Mm -hmm. What do you tell someone out there? You see, if your hope is in men, mm. you'll always look, look out for what men have to say to you. Yeah. To me, I... I, I of course, what people say or oh, what is important for the for the sake of the gospel, mm. but for the sake of finding pleasure in it, it's not really that big a deal to me. The Bible says in I think Psalms one twenty twenty two, one twenty one I think it says my 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 help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven, the and Maker earth. of heaven and earth. So that's where my anticipation is. My expectation is in God. Mm. So uh, it's okay to be uh, criticized. It's okay to be. You know, for us, some people call it persecution. It's okay. It's very fine. Mm. The most important thing is, if God sent you into it, find comfort in God. That's enough. Don't mm. seek for comfort elsewhere. Don't seek wow. for comfort elsewhere. God is enough. And then advice to young people out there who are in still struggling with those addictions, <laughs> addictions of pornography, addictions of sex addictions, uh, addictions of a lot of things right now. Um, if you're going through any addiction, um, this, the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. This is if you're born again. Mm. The just shall live by faith. Stop struggling to, to work or to do things or to get free, stop struggling. The first thing to do is to surrender yourself to God mm. continually. Secondly, listen to God's word continually. Listen to the word of God, the word of his grace. That word is able to build you up. Mm. That word is able to sanctify you actually. You can't sanctify yourself by your own effort. The issues you're dealing with are spiritual. Yeah. You see that? So the more you listen to God's word, the more you actually submit yourself to his word, that's okay. Even if the thing appears as if it's continuing, mm. I want to assure you, Jesus Christ made, it, he made that statement himself, that my word has made you clean. Mm. My word has sanctified you. So the more you listen to his word, get a sermon, Get a message that talks about God's goodness, God's love over you, mm. uh, God, the things God has done for you. That is enough to torment those devils that are disturbing you. They will leave you. Wow. They will leave you, I can assure you that. In oh, Jesus yes. Name. Mm. <laughs> and then, how did your parents perceive when you were going to the rap music? How did they take it? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> my father, the first time we heard the song, he was hey. quiet for like three or four months. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't for three anything. and not even for one week. But yeah. It was week. like, for my mom, actually there's still some of the, like, I think they're still coming to terms with it. They have been come to terms with it. They, they, they know it's happening, mm. but like believing that this is the guy, this is this and all of that, they, they're yet not, you know, they're coming to it. Are they supporting you? They love me, I know. Mm. They love me. But they're not supporting the rock music. Uh, I think, um, it's, it's to, to, to me, I don't look at it like a business. Yeah. It's ministry. And uh, when they come to understand it a certain way, there's a way they're going to respond also. Mm. For now, I thank God. They are, they, actually, what they're doing is what I want from them, is to allow me to, 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 to express this gift of God, mm. you know, freely. And that's what they've given me, and I'm thankful to God for it. Yeah. yeah. And then how did you perceive it when, you're, when your father is like, has taken three, <laughs> three months, <laughs> like, uh, Without, coming, not coming even to terms with it? I think, uh, like I said, the choice to go into music wasn't mine. Mm. I really loved it at first, and when I got born again, God told me, you know what? Let's first put on hold most of these things. Mm. And God dealt with me for some time. So, and later on, he started to wake me up and like, Bruno, come up, Bruno, 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 there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this. Mm. And, and, and I got up and I started again. I think that was about 2016. Mm. And by that time, I, I didn't care what people thought up to now really mm. if you feel i can't do it that's your that's your opinion if you still feel i'm different like there are some people actually up to now when they see the song and i'm speaking to them they think maybe it should be another person maybe speaking it to be this, maybe it should be the other thing <laughs> but that's what the bible says mm. because the wisdom of god rather because the foolishness of god is wiser than men mm. and the, the the weakness of god is stronger than men first corinthians mm. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25. That, that's so powerful mm. to understand the power of God in the weaknesses of men. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Uh, do, you, do you think th there is need um, of a sensitization to parents there that even rap music can, you can help your child? W let's say he has or she has a dream in rap music, in gospel. You can still help him, you can still help her and speak a message to other people actually thank you for that question mm. thank you very much um that is why we are doing what we are doing the way we are doing it yeah parents need examples you may think of maybe sensitization mm. like you know you're advertising for a particular product all of that no that, that's not how we do it yeah the gospel moves through testimonies when they see a testimony of a rap you know a gospel rap musician and this guy knows God. This guy is committed to God. This guy has a stable He's family, a something addict. like this. And you tell your father, I want to be like that guy. Your dad will say, come on, you, you better run and follow. Mm. So I think in the gospel industry at large, we, we don't have those, um, those many, we don't have many that are figures that parents can say, I want my child to be like this. I want my daughter to be like this. Because you know, whether it's family, you find some families are not you know, standing. Whether it's ministry, you find some people's ministry can't last for long. Whether it is uh, careers in other things, you find they're still struggling. But I thank God that God has dealt with some of us for some time. So we thank God that even this coming generation, the, the ones that are following us, mm. they have people to look up to. And that's why we thank God for such opportunities. Wow. That we're going to be that very, very um, example for some of those young people. Beautiful. Any parting shots as we are going to close this? Uh, could you please give advice to young, young people out there, the youth, even not even the youth, but even the old people who have lost self-esteem. They, they no longer believe in themselves. They are like, ah, it's a judge. It's a good man. <laughs> the Bible says that uh, uh, where vision is not, people cast off restraint. And God is the ultimate vision. If, you've, if you feel like you've given up on a particular vision or a dream, God redeems time. God redeems time. He can take you back maybe even 10, 20 or 15 years ago and you pull off something that nobody can believe you were able to pull off. So I want to encourage you, believe God. 
believe God. I will finish with this verse. There is a particular line in that verse. The Bible says, rather in the, in the song, that says, that, forget about the steam that comes with the big dream. I will make you be the cream of the Della cream. So don't mind about the things people say or what people see or whatever they want to say about you. Believe God for yourself. Yield to God for yourself. The Holy Spirit is able to do and fulfill that purpose he has put in your heart. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What, what should we look out for? Any album? Any video? Uh, very soon. From House of the Rain? Uh, actually, yeah. Um, like I told you this week, someone was shooting a video. We shot like other, some other videos. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for the best timing of the Spirit. Then we release. Wow. We are ready. We are ready. Thank you so much. Jackie Magina Kuntigiriza Rap. I'm going to make you cream of the Dela Cream. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to teach me how to rap because now I, I, I'm falling in love with rap. Uh, this has been Morning Glory. Let me hope you've had fun. Let me hope you've gotten uh, out of your comfort zone and known like you can still rise up and do what no one even has ever expected you to do. Uh, we had Jakim in studio and we have the white tag. We have the white tag installed for you. Just keep at locked on family tv 4 p.m the white tag is going to be happening all your gospel artists are going to be there and it's going to be online just sit in your living room and everything we're going to be bringing it up for you morning glory and brenda maho has been my name with byron video who we always do it every single single day let's meet on monday Mother's womb, I knew you stuck in your DNA like it's at you, always around you and in you. Walk with you always, never leave you. Many voices play through your mind, send fast forward, only rewind when it's mine. More than ever, you endeavor to stay connected whenever the weather make a fever. I'll be right beside you. I know you're kind, I know it's inside of you, but most of all, I'm inside of you too. Truth, what a promise to come through. Every thought of mine is only just to bite you. Under my wings, we could ride forever. Wipe away your tears, you got me to get there. You and me, me and you, together, we got this. My promise stays the same beyond all days. Mountains will move, seas will dry, but my love will stay. I died for you. Things may be tough, and other days things may be so hard. Regardless, everything that's godless is harmless. You're the light of the world and not in darkness. Set it down, don't fight it. Take your time, don't rush it. Every fire that comes away is an opportunity to show the world that you're the real fire. Forget about the steam that comes with the big dream. I'ma make you be the cream of a Della cream. One time you may fall, two time you may fail, three time I'ma still come through for you. That I'm here Every time you walk in Then you walk with boldness As you walk in with the line Never controlling the glow And then the world will know The grace was never stopping That's why I'm inside of you Wanna be so close To your heart To your heart Talk about the tempo Tempo that was broken Talk about the three days Everything was changing Changing Almighty God I was shifting Shifting to your heart I was only missing you